the climate change figures that have uh, now emerged from the Met Office and from government uh, do show that uh, not just that climate change is already happening, uh, but that over the course of the next 20 or 30 years, we're going to see serious changes in patterns of agriculture, in weather patterns, in the sort of temperatures that we experience, in the uh, sort of water resources that we can depend on, and in the danger of flooding from seas, rivers, and from overflowing drains. So we, we, we have serious issues ahead of us, and we need to both tackle climate change by stopping the emissions that cause it, and make sure that we prepare ourselves better as a country to defend ourselves against the impact of climate change. Climate change is, uh, is undoubtedly happening already. We know that even if we stop emitting all greenhouse gases tomorrow, climate change will carry on happening for quite a while yet. But we can either make it better or we can make it worse. And if we carry on as we are at the moment, carbon dioxide emissions increasing by 3% a year globally, if we carry on like that, then we're not just going to face difficulties, we're going to face catastrophe as a planet. That we need desperately to try and avoid. One of the things that I feel very strongly is we can fix this. We can deal with it. We can change the way as a society that we work. And uh, unless we do that, we're going to face serious problems. We need fundamentally to stop emitting greenhouse gases into the atmosphere because that's the root cause of the problem. Now that means developing renewable energy. It means stopping burning fossil fuels without any sort of abatement. It means developing things like carbon capture and storage technology which from coal-fired power stations can capture the carbon and bury it under the North Sea. It means switching ground transport from petrol engines to electric uh, engines. Uh, it means uh, doing up our homes so that they're much, more, uh, much better uh, and more efficient at the energy they use. All sorts of things we can do, um, but we need to start. We need to make a start very quickly. The Environment Agency has two roles to fulfil. First of all, the Environment Agency has to be about helping to protect people against the effects of climate change, especially, of course, where flooding is at risk or where water resources are disappearing. But the Environment Agency also has to be part of the solution to the fundamental problem. We need to be part of the uh, d doing away with those greenhouse gases that are causing the problem. And that means uh, encouraging renewable energy. It means making sure that in all the permitting and licensing we do, uh, we're uh, helping uh, to reduce emissions. It means making sure that uh, uh, in operating the carbon trading schemes that uh, are now in place, uh, we help to reduce carbon emissions across the world. Th these are things that we need to be doing, and we are doing, and uh, we need to encourage others to do likewise. We need international agreement on all of this, and that's why the Copenhagen summit uh, that's coming up in December is going to be so important. We need to get those international agreements and targets very firmly in place. Uh, but we're not going to get those unless we're showing a good example. And that's why we need to make our contribution. Yes, the UK is responsible for about 2% of global uh, greenhouse gas emissions. But that 2% is significant and it's important. And by tackling our emissions, we can help to show the way for others. And you know, we've shown we can do this before. We've shown, for example, when uh, we identified 20 years ago the hole in the ozone layer that was likely to cause serious environmental damage. We identified the problem. We knew from the science that it was things like CFCs in fridges that were the problem. We got a global agreement at the Montreal Protocol to tackle it, and we tackled it by a mixture of regulation and by financial incentive. And we did that both here in the UK, and we did it by securing the international agreements we needed. And that's the way we need to go for climate change, which is a much bigger issue.